We are at our leadership seminar, Philosophy and Practice at Klostermühle, and I am here um, this afternoon with Julia. You have participated in the seminar now for the last couple of days. Um, it is called Philosophy and Practice. Um, why is this still relevant today, although those texts are really, really old, which you have been reading over the last couple of days? Thank you for this question. Actually, as a sociologist, a political scientist, I try to adopt all the rules for, you know, uh, contemporary circumstances and explain my students why it is still important to think you know with all these definitions but actually it is also another part of the story I came from Ukraine and actually uh, people always asking whether it is place for philosophy uh, in the country at war but it is interesting that actually our philosophy and set of values it's actually the core which very helpful to fight against tyranny because Ukrainian people, they stand in for democracy, for freedom, for values of humanity. And my country demonstrates uh, the practices of mutual help of humanism and so on and so far. And actually, I uh, literally appreciate Aspen, Aspen Institute Germany for this opportunity to join the very vibrant community of uh, leaders and to discuss discuss all these and nowadays in my country in Ukraine we still have a lot of discussions how to rebuild recover and reconstruct our country and our society so there is a place for philosophy which could be turned into a practice very soon and I would say that Aspen Institute Kiev is also organizer of such discussions for Ukraine no, thank you so much for explaining why it is very relevant uh, today. Um, you have read a lot of different philosophers and uh, through your own teaching, you are also covering even more. Do you have a favorite philosopher you would recommend our viewers um, to take a look at? Yeah, of course, I have uh, my favorite ones from different times and uh, among those who are obligatory to read for every Aspen community member. It's of course Aristotle, probably Immanuel Kant, but actually some philosophers are not present so much uh, in cu uh, current discourse, not uh, only I would say Aspen seminars, but in public discourse. I would uh, name Hannah Arendt because now she's very timely with her thinking how we can get to tyranny and how it is important to be uh, on these horizontal links to each other on this humanitarian level and my second favorite also female philosopher or probably political scientist uh, is Eleanor Ostrom, the first uh, Nobel Prize winner among political scientists. Uh, and she uh, tried to apply her knowledge and actually research, practical research to solve the tragedy of commons. So we always in our political discourses here in Germany, all over the Europe, in Ukraine, uh, we face in the situation who should be prioritized, the state or the individuals. But she comes out with a third decision and she actually provides evidence that communities, that people who are trust each other could manage common pool resources in a better way. Thank you very much. Um, was there anything in, in the seminar which surprised you? Well, actually, I was surprised that the group was so diverse and uh, we have de definitely very warm atmosphere here. So probably as a, the only and probably the first representative of Ukraine, I also was surprised how people are polite, correct to each other and how this community try to be inclusive. And of course, probably it's not a surprise, but the good memory that these seminars are very intensive. You need to read a lot. You need to be included in all discussion, not to be afraid to jump into discussions, but what you taking uh, with you after the seminar is very important sense of community of uh, that you get some new skills and uh, in my case uh, as far as I'm not belong to this society yet that every voices could be valuable and you still can you know, uh, possess your leadership and to practice your leadership if you based on a proper values which are shared by another people. 
Thank you so much, Julia, for participating in the leadership seminar. And we very much hope to see you at the Aspen Institute Germany a lot in the future. Thank you for having me. And I really know that Aspen uh, Institute Germany is very supportive partner for Ukraine. So I will h I will hope that we can, you know, improve our connections on individual and probably institutional level. Thank you so much. <laughs>